Hello mga ka-wisdom! Welcome to Wisdom is Power Channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, mag-comment, at i-share ang video to. Click mo na rin ang notification bell to receive more wisdom videos na katulad nito. Salamat! Today we're going to discuss about the Y Delta conversion and we're going to have a practice problems involving Y Delta conversion. So let's have problem number one. Find the total resistance and the current in the resistor R sub 5. So we have here a network with uh, five resistors. So we are asked to find the total resistance and the current in the resistor 5. So tawagin natin siyang I sub 5. So makikita natin meron tayo ditong delta. So i-convert natin ito into a Y network. So pwede rin naman itong triangle na nasa lower portion. So mas piliin natin itong nasa taas na delta network. So i-convert natin siya into a Y network. So yung R1, R2, R3, kailangan mapalta natin ng RA, RB, and RC. So, review yung mga equation natin na kailangan for resistor A is the product of R sub 1 and R sub 2. So, mapapansin natin yung R sub 1 and R sub 2. So, yung RA ay nasa pagitan ng between R sub 1 and R sub 2. Yung RB naman, ang equation natin, yung RB ay nasa pagitan ng between R1 and R3. So, divided by the sum ng tatlong Resistors. Then yung RC, again, nasa pagitan naman siya ng R2 and R3 divided by the sum of the three resistances. So to start with, so RA is equals to simply 12 multiplied by the value of R2 which is 18 divided by the sum of the uh, three resistances. So that is 216 divided by 36 and we will get 6 ohms. For the value of RB, that is equals to 12 times 16, divided by, again, by the sum of the three resistances, that will give us 72 divided by 36, which is equals to 2 ohms. And RC, the same process, 18 multiplied by 6, divided by the sum of the three resistances, it will give us 108 divided by 36, which is equals to 3 ohms. So this network from delta, we can convert that into a simple uh, Y network. So we have the value of RA, which is uh, 6 ohms. The value of RB is equals to 2 ohms. And the value of RC is equals to 3 ohms. So we will notice that RB yung na-solve natin kanina, at yung R4 ay connected in series. So R4 and RB are connected in series. So tawagin natin siyang R or B. So that is simply the sum of two resistances because they are connected in series. So simply 18 plus 2 and that will give us 20 ohms. On the other hand, RC and R5 are connected in series. So we simply add the two resistors, so that is 12 plus 3, so that will give us 15 ohms. Then, our R4B and R5C are connected in parallel, so that is product over sum of the two. So, we combine them and let, let us call this R45BC, so that is 20 multiplied by 15, Divided by the sum of the two, 20 plus 15, that will give us 8.57 ohms. So to get the total resistance, that will be RA, yung nasolve natin na 6 ohms, plus R4 pi BC. So that will give us 6 plus 8.57, that is 14.57 ohms, the total resistance. And for the current, in the resistor 5. 
So we need to solve for the total current using Ohm's law that is total current is equals to total voltage divided by the total resistance. So the total voltage is the given 10 volts divided by the 14.57 ohms and we will get 0 0.69 amperes. So this will be our total current which will flow in the uh, resistor A also. Then uh, this current will uh, enter this node and uh, if we want to solve for the I5 or the, res the current flowing in the resistor 5, then we will use a current divider rule. The current in the resistor 5 will be, or I sub 5 is equal to total current, multiplied by the resistor across the this network. So that is R4B divided by the sum of these two parallel resistors. So that is equals to 0 0.69, the current entering the node, multiplied by the, the sum of this uh, R4B, which is 20, multiply, uh, divided by the 20 plus 15. So we will get 0 0.39 amperes for the current uh, flowing in resistor 5. For problem number two, so again, we are asked to solve for the total resistance of the network shown below. So we will notice that four ohms, six ohms, and eight ohms are connected in uh, delta again, no? so delta. So, so again, we will use the delta to y conversion. So we need the RA, so that is four times eight divided by the sum of the, uh, divided by the sum of all the resistances in the network, which is four plus six plus eight. So that will give us 32 divided by 18 or simply equal to 1.78 ohms. And we will continue that uh, process. So that will be four times six divided by the sum. That is 24 divided by 18. That will give us 1.33 ohms for the value of R sub B. And for the value of R sub C, we will get 48 divided by 18. That will give us 2.67 ohms. So this network can be reduced into uh, like this. No? So from delta, we convert it to Y. So RA is 1.78, RB is 1.33, and RC is 2.67. So from this network, we will notice that, uh, that R RB and RK, so we just put some labels. So the four ohms is, uh, let us call this RJ, and the eight ohm resistor, let us call this RK, and let us assign R sub L to four ohms. So again, so we will notice that RB and RK are connected in series, so we simply add the two, and let us call this RBK, that is 1.33 plus eight ohms, that will give us 9.33 ohms. On the other hand, RC and R sub L is also connected in series, so we simply add the two resistors, and that will give us 6.67 ohms. And these uh, two resistors, or group of resistors, are connected in parallel, so we just uh, simply get the, the equivalent value that is product divided by their sum. So that is 9.33 multiplied by 6.67, the product divided by the sum, 9.33 plus 6.67, that will give us 3.89 ohms. So to solve for the total resistance, we simply uh, add all the resistances because they are now connected in series. So that is 4 plus 1.78 plus 3.89, so the total resistance would be 9.67 ohms. Problem number three. So find the total resistance of the network shown below. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six resistors. So let us first uh, label them. So for R sub one, 
we will use uh, 10 ohms. And for 50 ohms, we will assign it or label it R sub 2. And for the 20 ohms, R sub 3. For the 30 ohms, that would be R sub 4. And the 24 ohms will be R sub 5. And 30 ohms would be R sub 6. And we will notice that this network, R sub 1, R sub 2, R sub 3, are connected in Y network. So we will uh, use this and convert this Y network into a delta network. So using our equation to convert uh, the Y network into delta connection, that will be the product of R sub 1 and R sub 2 plus R sub 2 multiply by R sub 3 plus the product of R sub 1 and R sub 3 all over the value of R sub 1. The same thing goes with R sub B and the same thing goes with R sub C. So using this equation, we can now solve for the, uh, we can convert this uh, Y into a delta network. So using our equation, so that is RA, that is 10 multiplied by 50, plus 50 times 20, plus 10 times 20, all over 10. So that will give us 1,700 divided by 10, and that is equals to 170 ohms. The same thing with uh, R sub B, so that will give us 1,700 divided by 50, and that will give us 34 ohms. R sub C, that will be 1,700 divided by 60, uh, I mean 20, that will give us 85 ohms. Now, this network from Y, we can simply express this network into a delta one. So R sub A is 170 ohms, R sub B is 34 ohms, and R sub C is 85 ohms. So using that, the, that, the network, we will notice that R5 and RB are connected in parallel. So simply product over sum. So that is 24 multiplied by 34 divided by 24 plus 34. That is equals to 14.07 ohms. On the other hand, R4 and RA are connected in parallel. So again, that is the equation will be the product divided by the sum. So that will give us 30 multiplied by 170 divided by 30 plus 170. And the result is uh, 25.5 ohms. Then simplifying the R5B and R4A are now connected in series. So we simply add uh, these two resistors and that will give us 39.57 ohms. So simplifying again the network, this will give us the 39.57 ohm is now parallel to R3, which is 85 ohms. Then to get the total resistance, we simply get the, the equivalent resistance of RS and RC, which are connected in parallel, then plus to the R sub 6, so to get the total resistance. So substituting all the values uh, we, we get or we solve, then the total resistance will be 39.57 multiplied by 85 divided by the sum of the two plus the R sub 6, which is 13 ohms. And the total re resistance will give us 40 ohms. So that's all mga kawisdom. So again, kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, mag-comment at i-share ang video ito. I-click mo na rin ang notification bell to receive more wisdom videos na katulad nito. Salamat!